The Large Hadron Collider, a $6 billion particle accelerator, is by most measures the largest machine in the world. This so-called Big Bang machine was designed to smash together proton beams to test ultimate theories of matter and unleash forces so powerful that some physicists fret that the collider could threaten our universe. Its 9,300 supercooled magnets are arranged in an underground ring almost 17 miles around. Just one of its detectors weighs as much as the Eiffel Tower, and scientists in no fewer than 38 countries have readied 100,000 computers to process its data. The collider is at the cutting edge of knowledge and of collaboration. These days, science is a team sport and project management is a key part of every experiment. At the Large Hadron Collider, it is hard to say just who is in charge. Research groups have organized themselves into democratic cooperatives that constantly share information and ultimately share equal credit and blame. Maria Bins Scharf, professor of management, the economics department at the City College of New York, is working on a grant to study scientific collaboration and in the internet. She says that collaboration among scientists, while mainly a positive thing, is not without its challenges. Some problems in collaboration are, of course, um, um, structural, institutional, social issues um, of negotiating um, who, who, who gets credit, um, who is the first author, who um, who is the, whose brainchild um, a certain aspect of, of the whole is. The positives uh, are clear. It is um, better to have several um, scientists, several brains uh, illuminate uh, several aspects of one question. It will, I, I truly believe that the whole is uh, bigger than the sum of its parts. She cites Google Wave as an example of a new technology that scientists are using to improve the exchange of data and information. The success of the Collider is tied to the Internet in more ways than one. The Collider is located at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, near Geneva, Switzerland. This is the same organization that originally developed the World Wide Web on which you are watching this video now. They didn't have Facebook or YouTube in mind at the time. Its aim was to help scientists working all over the world to share information. As researchers ready the Large Hadron Collider, they have encountered their share of operational glitches. If all systems work as planned, the high energy collisions of its proton beams will reveal the secrets of space, time, and the universe, and the researchers will equally share the data and the credit. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm science columnist Robert Lee Hotz.